the nomadic male hasn't established this as his dominant territory, although it seems to be that he's claiming part of it. Good morning everyone, welcome back to a very early and very misty beautiful morning on Shamari Private Game Reserve. My name is Andrew and uh, I'd like you to join me for the next little while as I'm on the search for a nomadic male lion. So it's been a couple of weeks since I've brought you an update on the nomadic male and what he's been up to. There hasn't been many changes but I figured seeing as it's been a few weeks let's get out there see how he's doing and uh, if we can see any activity on him this morning. What we have noticed over the last few weeks and months is this nomadic male is living on the, on the fringes of the territory of the Southern Pride and, and in some instances he's going smack dab into the middle of it. And he's not meeting any resistance really. He's roaring, he's acting almost as if part of this is his territory. But we know that the the territorial or the dominant male within the Southern Pride teamed up with his son just to have an extra uh, set of paws to defend the territory. It's uh, quite a rare occurrence, but it has been documented a few times at least. And it's generally, uh, if there is no other option to, to bolster defenses against intruder males, and, and in this instance, it's the nomadic male, and that's what we've seen happening. So the nomadic male hasn't established this as his dominant territory, although it seems to be that he's claiming part of it and there's an uneasy kind of familiarity with the lion pride and him at the moment. It's almost like whoever's going to make the next move is going to be a big move and that's going to be quite a deciding factor. Just an update from this morning from the guides is the southern young male is sitting by himself in a part of the game reserve apart from the dominant male. So already there's some behavior that would indicate there's a change within the pride. What exactly is going to transpire? I don't know. There's been so many interesting curveballs thrown at us the last little while with this that uh, I think the best is just going to be we're going to have to wait it out and see and as it changes and develops we're going to bring it to you and show it to you. Regardless of what shenanigans are happening with lions and lion prides, the best time to look for lions is really early in the morning and that's why we're out super early. The mist is busy lifting and let's hope the day turns into a beautiful sunny day. Well, there we go. It's been about two hours of tracking this guy down, going to where he was last seen and then just working all of the, the tracks until we've eventually found this guy and look at this guy, he is absolutely magnificent. Now what you can see is on the inside of his legs there, see on the inside of his leg he's got one or two fresh cuts. That shows you that this lion is actively uh, engaging with the, the dominant southern lions. Uh, the, the father and the son coalition and actively trying to uh, fight for territory or for dominance. There has been a few interesting sightings with this nomadic male the last few weeks. There's been some direct conflict where this nomadic male has come into confrontation with the dominant male from the southern pride and it was a, a fairly matched altercation if you can put it like that. There was uh, definitely some standoff uh, posturing and growling and no, no real direct fighting but I mean we saw the injuries on the back of his legs that there definitely has been some escalation to the fighting and the longer that the dominant male is apart from his son the more he's at risk of actually getting into a, a conflict fight with this nomadic male and the nomadic male actually tipping the scales and, and uh, pushing him out which uh, at the end of the day this nomadic male was brought in for genetic diversity so that's the purpose 
uh, of the male is to actually assimilate into a pride or take over a pride uh, or form a pride of his own. And if we look at the differences between the dominant male in the south at the moment and this nomadic male, this guy is younger. He's only coming into his prime now, so he still has a number of years left in peak physical condition where that southern male, I think he is at the end of his reign. So within the next uh, few months, I suspect that we're going to see some form of a, a change of leadership uh, within the southern pride. And this guy is just, look at that, absolutely magnificent. He's hunting well for himself. We, we often uh, see him taking down some, some good sized antelope, things like kudu and zebra by himself. And uh, he's also using other means necessary whenever he can. You know, he's come across other scavengers uh, that are feeding off the carcasses of kills left behind by uh, another pride of lions, for example. And, and uh, we've seen him take the, the remains of the carcass off of those scavengers like brown hyenas. And it's not ideal food, but it is still food. And he's making use of that carcass to gain whatever nutrients he can um, to tide him over until the next kill. So he's doing well. Well, there's a very quick update for you on this nomadic male and how he's doing and how he's surviving on Shamari Private Game Reserve. And until the next update, stay safe, keep watching, and we'll see you soon.